lobster and shrimp breaded in the oven. Beautiful. Good afternoon, everybody. Well, we're starting the show off in a different way. I've got a very special guest with us, Mary McCabe from the NSLC. She's a product specialist, wine and spirit, 32 years experience to share with us. So we're just going to get going with this. Got to get a bowl, half a cup of cornmeal, and then we're going to throw a half a cup of flour. Woo. Okay, we need to whisk that together. I got to whisk it. Once we have the, uh, the cakes put together, we're going to roll them in that. This is just I, you know, see later, I, I went ahead and I steamed the lobster and, and I had to chop it up because it'd be too long in the show to do that. So we've got lobster and shrimp, equal parts. Um, really, a, you know, you need a pound, I'll put a little extra. So then we need uh, one egg yolk, a big tablespoon of coarse ground mustard in there. We need three of these guys, fresh chopped cilantro. In they go. Beautiful. Roasted red peppers. You need a quarter cup of roasted red peppers cut up. Then you want to take a nice big, call it about a quarter cup of chopped fresh green onions. Then we have to go ahead here, we're going to put some lime juice in here. Lime. Now in Venezuela, they'll call that a lemon. I don't know why, but they will. And a quarter cup of mayonnaise. Just a little bit there. And we're going to stir all that up. And you just get all this stuff married together here. You can smell that cilantro, eh, Mary? Mm -hmm. And now, what we're going to do before we start putting the coating on there is we're going to get a baking sheet, and we want to put butter all over this pan, and we're going to be resting these beautiful morsels. They're going to be baked at 450 degrees, and we're going to turn them once in the oven, and we're going to cook these for about 10 minutes. That's ready for when we do that. Now, you can make these big, small, you can, whatever size you'd like to do. Try to take the juice out of them. The more juice you can take out of them, the better. Can we this shake it? Don't waste it, just taste it. Can we this shake it? Don't waste it, just taste it. Can we this shake it? Don't waste it. So Mary, when I'm putting these little crab cakes together, I mean shrimp cakes, lobster cakes, can you tell us just uh, how do you pair? Like, what what's the science behind pairing uh, for a dish? Okay, so I take what their likes are first because if they don't like Sauvignon Blanc, they're not going to want it with their meal. Mm -hmm. I take um, the tags in the liquor store, of course, have a lot of food pairing choices and, and ideas on there. So I ask them first what they like, and if they tell me they like a sweeter wine, well then I'll try to do that with their food, match that up. Um, red goes with meats, but I mean, you can do different things now. It's not a direct science like that. So if they don't like red wine, and I get that a lot, they don't like red wine, it gives me headaches, whatever, I'll try to find something else for them that they do like. Okay, so just before we pop these in the oven, we're gonna put some little bit of melted butter over top. See that? We don't want these guys to dry out on us. Really easy to do, and you'll see these how they come out in a few minutes. So halfway through the cooking uh, period with these uh, lobster shrimp cakes, all you do is flip them over once, don't put any more butter on them, back in the oven for another six minutes. The last part of doing this little uh, dish is to make a nice drizzle. This is a spicy cilantro. Drizzle. And all we're going to do is put a quarter cup of chopped fresh cilantro, a quarter cup of chopped uh, green onions, and we're going to take a half a cup of virgin olive oil, and we're going to take sesame oil. Sesame oil. And we're going to put one, there you go, one teaspoon of sesame oil in there. And we're going to take one and a half teaspoons of fresh lime juice. There we go. And then we're going to take a whole half a teaspoon and another half a teaspoon of a spicy Thai chili sauce. And it goes wonderfully well with this. And all we do is we just, we're just going to whisk this together. You can see, we're going to drizzle this on top of the, those cakes. Smell that, Mary? I can see. Smells so there we go. That's all we had to do with that. Finishing off, putting this beautiful 
cilantro, spicy cilantro drizzle. Mary and I are going to have a little bit of fun with this. We're going to eat it, but Mary, maybe you could tell us a little bit about the wine you chose. Okay, so Gasparo Vineyards Tidal Bay is a combination of grapes from Nova Scotia and its uh, unique blend of Seville Blanc, Videl Blanc, Ortega, and Musket, which is going to give it a whole lot of flavors and it matches up perfectly with Atlantic seafood. Perfect. My favorite part. Gosh, and we start, and we, <laughs> hey, perfect. Listen, we started the show off with a glass of wine. Yeah. And most likely we're going to finish the show with a glass of wine or at Sapporo. <laughs>